Steven Andres here for the lines.com, playpicks.com, joined by our lead golf writer, John Hasselbauer at PGA Tout on Twitter. In this video, it is our first look at the 2022 Masters. I know I speak for John as well when I say our favorite week of the entire year for the golf season. My ringtone is the Masters theme 365 days a year. It is such a lovely melody to wake up to every single day. John, I assume you're in as good a mood as I am to get ready for Absolutely. Hello, friends. Uh, you know, I'm wearing the green sweater. It's not quite a green jacket, but I, I took the greenest thing I could find. I'm super pumped. Golf Super Bowl, the best week of the year in terms of golf, the, the week that all of the casual betters, all of our friends who don't grind this every single week can come in and enjoy one of the most entertaining uh, weeks of golf of the year. <laughs> I love it, man. For those of you that are joining us for the first time here, may not have seen our videos in the past, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let us know in the comments who you're betting on in the Masters, who you're fading. John, I'm down here in New Orleans for our Final Four coverage. I went to uh, Caesar Sportsbook the other day because I had some, you know, Valero Texas Open outrights, and I was a little disappointed that I had to go to the bar across the way to find a single TV that actually had golf on. So the DGens are here. They know we, how much we like golf. We got to get the mainstream sports fans to like golf a little bit more. I think Masters Week is a great time to have that opportunity. So let's start breaking down this field a little bit. If you haven't already, go to the lines.com. You can check out John's. I usually call it a post each week, but let's be honest. This is your master's manifesto to get us ready here for Augusta national. It's on the homepage of the lines.com. If you don't see it there for whatever reason during the week and go to the drop down menu under odds, under golf, you'll see John's name and you'll find his master's preview. So let's start with the favorites here, John, a little bit of price difference on some of these guys, depending on where you shop. Unlike other tournaments that come out the Monday after the previous tournament, we've had Masters odds up for months. So a lot of money has already gone into this market to help shape the top of this market. Uh, John Rahm is short as plus 850 at DraftKings. You can get him at plus 1100 at points bet. He's 10 to 1 at a lot of spots. I know Caesars actually has a promo right now. You can get him at 12 to 1 if John Rahm's the guy you want to back. The other guys in the top six, names you would expect, Justin Thomas, Scotty Scheffler, the new world number one in that 12 to 14 to one range cam smith off winning the players championship and also the tournament of champions in that 14 to 15 to one range dustin johnson rory mcelroy round out the top six in that 16 to 18 to one range just your initial thoughts on the top of this board here as we start masters week yeah, I think it's interesting that we uh, will continue to get the premium on John Rahm after he loses the world number one spot. Uh, Scotty Scheffler gets uh, you know up to a more premium, sixteen to one across most books. I think that's um, that's appropriate. And uh, Justin Thomas is going to be the guy to watch this week. I think he's gaining more and more popularity of the guys in this group of top six. I think he's probably going to be the most popularly bet player. He's trending really well and seems to be circling around that green jacket over the over the course of his career. For sure. And, and one guy we typically see at the top of the board for the Masters, just based strictly on course history, is Jordan Spieth. But we're seeing some some price difference here early in the week. Anywhere from 13 to 20 to 1 for Spieth. I think maybe a combination there of we haven't gotten as much public money, uh, casual money into this market at this point. A lot of golf bettors, and I think golf bettors at this point understand that, that Jordan Spieth's form isn't as good as these other guys we just mentioned. Yeah, course history is so important at Augusta, and that's always going to be priced on a premium on a guy like Jordan Spieth. Um, he, he's taken a bit of a step back since almost winning the at t Pebble Beach a couple months ago. Um, and there, there's a little more momentum behind some of these other guys like Dustin Johnson, who look great in the match play, and Scotty Scheffler, who's been on an absolute tear. Cam Smith just won the players. Uh, J Justin Thomas and Rahm have been knocking on the door each week. And Rory McIlroy has a couple recent wins um, in, over the last uh, six or so months. So uh, everybody else uh, at the top of the board seems to be trending this way with wins and, and high finishes to show for it. Spieth is a little more volatile. He's not coming off of that Valero win like he was last year. So I, he could be an interesting guy to, that may slip a little bit, knowing that he's always going to perform with that course history at Augusta. 
All right, we'll wrap up this video in a couple of minutes with some guys that stood out to you in the early going of the week here. Obviously, you give us your betting card on thelines.com each Wednesday, so your official bets, what's in your account, will come out then. Uh, I'll share a couple of guys that are in the top of my model coming in uh, to the start of the week here. Uh, we'll finish up with that. For now, let's talk about Augusta National, right? I think the, the diehard fans know about the course, but the casual fan might not know some of the nuances of this place. So uh, from a from a wide angle lens view, we're looking at 7,500 yards this year. It's a par 72, so four par fives. The architect Bobby Jones and Alistair McKenzie. Uh, we're looking at median four round scores. It's it's. If you throw out the November 2020 Masters when it was super low in different conditions, uh, plus one last year, minus four in 2019. So it really just depends on how soft the greens are for that week. Past winners, obviously, Hideki Matsuyama, Dustin Johnson in that November Masters, the historic, incredible Tiger Woods win in 2019. And you had guys like Patrick Reed and Sergio Garcia win as well. So, um, First thing I want to ask you about is the yardage, because that is at least I don't know whether you would call it a minor difference or a major difference, but they lengthened a couple of the holes here this week, right? They did for two holes, um, uh, the 11th and the 15th, they extended one by 15 yards and one by 20 yards. So uh, in the end, it's not a significant change and it only affects two holes. So it's not really going to change the the wider landscape of what we're going to see this week. But that is we're, we are talking about a one club difference on two very difficult or, you know, one of the most difficult uh, par fours on the course in the 11th hole that's going to be made even more difficult with a less lofted iron into that uh, from what we're hearing and then the par five um, definitely going to play into the favor of the longer hitters this week especially with rumors that the course is going to be playing a little bit softer with a lot of rain leading into uh, tournament play you're not going to get as much rollout that's really going to favor the guys with with longer carry distance uh, a guy like Rory McIlroy who, who I'm sure we'll talk about a, a little bit here um, definitely benefits those sorts of players with that added distance because these are still going to be firm and fast greens it's going to be tricky to hold them so you want to have a lofted uh, shorter iron into these these holes to set up the scoring opportunities so key stats to consider at Augusta National this week. Every week we're going to talk about stroke being it on approach being an important stat. You want to uh, have you know as close to the hole on your approaches as possible, no matter what week it is. And an iron play is very important when we're handicapping any given tournament. There is a, a line of thinking with the Masters that it's even more important at Augusta National. But I think you and I would both agree that um, – certain aspects of off the tee are I'll, I'll leave it to you to tell me your opinion on whether it's as important or more important or maybe a little less important than approach game but the fact that the fairways are wide but there is an added advantage to hitting the proper side of the fairway on so many of these holes so where are you waiting that off the tee area in comparison to the approach game yeah, I, I think the the off the tee metric that I care most about is driving distance. Driving accuracy isn't really going to separate you from the pack this week. Stroke scan approach is always going to be an indicator of success at any course you go to in the game of golf. So uh, it's never going to we're never going to say the stroke scan approach doesn't matter. But um, it, I, I'm looking more for a combination of skill sets of players with that extra distance, but also solid approach play. And more than anything else, I really think the touch around the greens and being able to get up and down from difficult positions with all these undulations and and firm and fast tight lies around the green uh even players just that just have that experience have seen these shots before are going to have a leg up over some of the newcomers so uh, really a combination of distance approach play a short game and experience uh really shouldn't come as too much of a surprise these are all the characteristics that we've seen in, ma in major champions and it's no different at the masters Okay, so you mentioned Rory, and let's let's wrap up here with some names that we have an eye on that we may not have necessarily bet yet, but we certainly are considering it, and maybe you have bet it already. Um, so you mentioned Rory. The other thing I'll mention is, as we record this on Sunday, Tiger Woods tweeted that he's a quote game time decision. I don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think either of us are going to have a legitimate outright ticket on Tiger Woods. Maybe some of us will sprinkle a couple bucks just for the entertainment factor of value, but. When we're handicapping this, I don't think we can uh, 
legitimately tell you guys that Tiger's going to win this tournament in his first back from almost lose first tournament back from almost losing his leg. So, uh, Rory McIlroy, you mentioned a couple other guys you might have your eye on, and, or maybe have also bet already. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely would say uh, I wouldn't recommend from an investment standpoint with your hard earned money to put it on Tiger Woods. But if you got some some money aside, some discretionary income, and you just want to watch the Masters and uh, root for Tiger Woods, and you know all the power to you, I probably won't be putting my money there. But if he wins, I'll, I'll be just as happy as if one of my outrights do. Uh, Rory McIlroy was the first player that I bet this week at eighteen to one. Uh, I'm also uh, you know finger on the trigger with Justin Thomas. I've, if he slips to sixteen to one, I, I think he's fourteen across every book that I've seen so far. But if he slips any further to sixteen, Justin Thomas is a guy that popped in every every aspect of research that I looked at. So I'll be keeping a close eye on him. And if I bet both Rory and Thomas, that's going to be a very tight card for me. Um, the only other guy that I have action on is Sung J M. Uh, I, I took a future on him at 50. He's since slipped all the way down to 66, and, and I believe that number may even continue to slip. Um, so I, I'm hoping that I have some cash out options if a better uh, number becomes available. But uh, at, as is always the case with a major week, I definitely advise everybody we're recording on Sunday, wait until Monday before you really lock in your card because we're about to see a lot of odds drift and a lot of promotions from all of these sports books competing with each other. So do expect odds to get better starting on monday and look out for any pr special promos um you know to help fill out your card absolutely and if there's a book that you haven't signed up for we have amazing sign up offers for you at the lines.com the masters is a perfect week for that including for our, our friends up in ontario that are having expanded legal sports betting starting monday april 4th we have um you know we can show you the the sports books that are working up there in ontario as well uh, but it's just going to be a great week. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're going to have plenty more Masters content out coming out for you here on the YouTube channel this week. And, John, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the Masters, my friend. Absolutely. Enjoy the Final Four. Enjoy New Orleans down there. Have a drink for me.